long. So the first thing I'd like to say is this is a vocational course, but it's to help equip you and it's, um, this is part of a 501c3 organization and I'm comparable to other chaplaincy programs in style and, and length and also the, the cost. It's, um, part of the education and development division of New Life in the Church. So it's not like it's for profit, it's to equip you and the costs go basically back into the expense that you're investing in your ministry, you're investing in your future and uh, you know whatever we can do to make this feasible for you. That's what we're here. This class is about you guys. It's not about a training organization. It's about you. And what we're getting out of this class is what you're going to put into it. It's not going to be one of these passive kind of Bible study things that you can sit in the back of your Sunday school class and just um, you know, kind of absorb some things. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some you need to make time. It's going to be reading. It's going to be an effort. But you're going to get something out of it. And I believe the Spirit of God will has, has designed this group specifically for this particular time. It's for your benefit. And the, the things that we're going to be covering will be tailored towards you. So whatever kind of questions you have, whatever um, needs you have, interests you have, we're going to vary things a little bit so that I'm it's a parachurch organization. It's not part of a church function like children's ministry or um, you know life groups or, or that kind of thing. And I really firmly believe in a, a parachurch organization that's taking God outside of the church walls where we are working for God in among the streets and among the groups that are our chaplains. There's a lot of people that do things with homeless, they see the women's shelter, um, a lot of things in, in the Detroit metropolitan area in the community. No. In the fall, we'll be having, a, besides our continuing education classes, which are open to you. So we'll be communicating with that. On, I'll be sending out a quarterly letter, either by email or U.S. Postal mail, um, to communicate what's going on, to talk about things about the chaplaincy. And um, I've gotten to, but we're going to be redoing the website. The website merely shows that. The, the, the flyer, and there's a lot more that goes on. It's a start, but it's not sufficient, I think, for what websites have become. So we'll be working on that this year. Um, attendance is important. So my next question is, um, when you think of the word chaplain, what image do you get when you see a chaplain in your mind? Well, initially, what comes up is this guy was in college. I mean, he was getting seen in the In the military, particularly. Yes, right? exactly. that's, the, that's the thought that came to me, too, is one of these guys with a collar in the military. Yes. Well, a chaplain was originally a Christian worker in a secular organization or institution. Today, with the rise of a number of different growing religions, it's not limited to Christians anymore. You know, all kinds of different denominations are and, and religions have religious workers that are in secular situations. And it, it, it does open another type of door because if you're a pastor or a licensed minister, there's places that you can't go. But the government and different institutions do recognize, in thought at least, that there is a validity for a religious worker in a, in a workforce. Um, they can be, like you mentioned, in the military. Uh, you find them among police and firemen ministering to the first responders, but also helping out with their uh, the recipients of their care in hospitals. 
the hospice, education of those systems, um, the workforce, there are sports chaplains. Of course, we do, I think, the common one is prisons. We do think of chaplains in prisons, which some are paid and some are volunteered as well. And a lot of different avenues where chaplains do work and you can open new doors as, as well as you find different areas where you can minister. Um, the purpose of a community service chaplain uh, is to provide spiritual guidance and practical service to people of the community through a field service ministry, so outside of the church. And you can work in your church too, but it's basically out of the church. Being a chaplain, as we've already discussed, people will look to you and um, they'll come to you in times of stress, emergency, and they'll look to you for counsel. So it's really important for you to have the counsel of God's word. The vision of IPC. is um, we are committed to train and mobilize an army of believers that will impact the world with the truth of God's word by demonstration of love and service to the needs of individuals with humility and wisdom that is empowered by our faith in Jesus Christ.